Um, no ball. It's got away before the edges fly here too. That's the challenge uh, with uh, bowling second. Hard to defend. First ball. File that under the challenges of bowling on a fast pitch. You bowl of absolute beauty. And before anyone can blink, it's gone to the boundary. Could have gone. The whole 22 without loss. Oh, that is huge. Six runs. First six of the innings, and it comes off the back of Fakhar Zaman. And another donation, 20,000 rupees. Go loop low. Stand in the liver. Oh, that are these. Oh, the beautiful over first up. Changed ends. Look as the man's having none of it. Lovely strike. Tired to show this, and uh, the man has just opened up in that first delivery. And Lahore up to 34 with our class. Tournament six is heading towards 300. And that HBL six counter flying along. This one was even bigger. This is massive. Pace on the ball. And with a man who's opening himself up to play this sort of shot, that's exactly the ball you're looking for. Eighty-one meters. Highest score is thirty-three against Islamabad United. Is this the night for Fakhar Zaman? Already seen Ben Dunk. There's still Chris Lynn to come. China, in terms of where he's better, the average is thirty-seven point six six at one forty-four strike rate. So, and with one century, so he has batted here a lot. In fact, mostly here. He's opened 60 times and he's batted 375 times. So maybe that suggests that he's a little bit more watchful when he comes in at three and it gets him going. Potentially, yeah. Perhaps he gives himself a bit more time. Strike rate's higher, isn't it, when he goes out to the top of the order? 150, 155. He certainly looks like he's in the mood. You know, they're kind of the, there's a calmness about what he's doing at the moment. <laughs> goes bang down the ground. And that's very nearly killed the cameraman. Good shot, he hit it straight enough. There was a man down there protecting. He's a little bit wider than that, so it has hit the camera. Well, thankfully, that was in... He, he actually looks into that, so it's hit the end of the viewfinder. Wrongen from uh, Yasser shot. Didn't turn, didn't grip. And Faka just smoked it down the ground. And uh, Faka will be getting a bill from uh, the production company. Expensive, those. Well, yeah, look, it's unlucky, actually, because we don't have any spare viewfinders, but we had a spare cameraman, so it's, it's a little unlucky. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We don't want to see any cameraman get hit. Oh, gee, he moves quickly, too. Oh, I hope you're all right. There's one bounce, and oh, could have been worse. Comes in the ball, and he's there to provide them with a breather. Break this partnership. Rhythm, 35 of 23. That's another houseful here at Qaddafi Stadium, Lahore. You've been wonderful. Such a valuable contribution. The fans, always. <laughs> 85 for one after 10.1. Going at a great pace. What uh, has been likable about this pair is that they've not really gone berserk. They've picked the right lanes, right balls, mostly, and hit them so cleanly. Well, this is the type of pitch that Chris Lynn has at home. You know, this is like the Gabba. A fast, bouncy pitch, true. Oh, are ahead at this stage. 
remember though that they've come home like a house on fire in previous games with the bat. You've still got Dunk to come. Got the peas to come. Now they're fast catching up. Kalandas win this and move forward. They'd be what? Number three in the list? In the standings list? If they win today? White ball is played away quite nicely. There's a lot of craft in ball in that occasion. Well, craft from the bowler. Not sure there was too much craft from Lynn. I think he was trying to hit it through that those men on the offside, not over the top. Oh, bold. <laughs> and no control over that whatsoever. Entertaining cricket. Yeah, what is he thinking? He's applauding the effort from Hassan Ali. He had befuddled him, but the end result wasn't a great one. So 90 for one now. Galloping. That's even better. <laughs> a bit of fun and giggle. Blocked his way, didn't want him to hit that one. I, probably he couldn't have, because I think it, it's given a dead ball straight away these days, isn't it? That is simply magnificent. That's a slower ball that has gone backwards. It was reverse swing at his best. Swinging it backwards. Oh, cut him in half. The off cutter sticking into the surface. Can we get the speedo on this ball? He's tried to bowl the slower ball. <laughs> would, have been, would have been a great delivery for Aleem Dar to face. <laughs> he got the scare of his life. He didn't know what to do with it. The initial gesture was to wide it, and then it was given a dead ball. Can we pick that as the moment of the game? <laughs> Lovely running between the wickets. Zalmi at the receiving end. Nothing seems to be working. I think Dar's reaction was as though the ball was being bowled at him. He ducked the bouncer. Mate, it was a good wake-up call for the umpire. They'll keep his eyes wide open that moment. There he is. <laughs> is he cold, is he? Yeah. On the pads once again. Worked away into the gap. 11 done, 93 for one. good time for Alim Dar to have a breather as well <laughs> he can reflect on that delivery it's that every ball is out of the crease without calling and so I mean it can be so difficult for the non-striker really to know whether he's looking for a single or not whether he's called for a run or not look at his stance here here he's setting up he's want a baseball this out of the ground he's got in mind every ball's now going to go to six he's starting to think this is my over here he goes, that's up in the air, is it safe, is it six, it is, over the rope, may not have middle it, but the result was fantastic, exciting, 100 partnership, sorry, 50 partnership is raised, 100 on the board as well, we've got an eco-friendly truck, well it doesn't matter how you get them, but the intention, you cannot fault, cross seamer, He's setting up as though he wants to baseball it out of the ground. That's probably not the ball you want to bowl. If I see a batsman setting up like this, I'm probably bowling full and wide, something out of his hitting zone. Anything but that length. Good striking. Well, the pace is good in, in this partnership, 50 of 31. It requires still over 10, by the way, so it's not that straightforward. They need a couple of blows here, a couple of wickets to make it a bit tough for Kalandas. Oh, 
once again. Wrong length. 50 comes up for Fakhar. His first 50 of this year's HBL PSA. We had to wait for a very long time to see him run into good form. And, well, he's provided us with a lot of fun. Good effort. 50 of 34. The side like him as well. They like what he brings. And they like his role at the top of the order. And he's been threatening to put on the score. He's played some wonderful shots throughout the tournament, but never quite gone on. He's doing that tonight. Again, that ball in that hitting zone. Skipper needs to get to him and say, let's get away from that ball. Um, that's target reduction, though, Ramiz. That never works. With and gone. Once again, Pachal has been fed with some easy stuff. What he's doing is just opening the front leg and looking to be or bank on the back foot and hit it across towards the leg side or cut it. Yeah, you're spot on, Ramiz. Once again, if you imagine a person set in that stance, where do you want it as a batsman? You want it in that hitting zone. Pause there. Fielder at extra cover and uh, mid off were still in mid chat as Wahab was halfway through his run up. Out. Back to back wickets, and uh, this is exactly what Zelmi needed, and they've got both the set batters out. Yeah, I said it wasn't over. There was still work to do, still runs to be scored. And Zalmi now have two men on naught at the crease. The perfect scenario for them. Wahab decided to go hard. Hard into a length. Just outside off stump. It's a swipe from Vaka. And guess what? Is Yasser Shah in the right place at the right time once again. Vaka goes for 63. It's 148 for three.